See, here's the problem. Because we grew up in childhoods where we were hungry for love and approval and worth from our parents who puppeteered us according to the expectations. Read any of my books. I talk about it on every page. We did not develop a true deep sacred connection to our own wholeness. Because we're not connected to our wholeness and because we split off parts of ourselves with judgment, with bitterness, with self-loathing, and because we don't have true compassion for ourselves, including our misery, including our shadow, including our pain, we completely uh, are enslaved to the opinions of others. Not only are we enslaved to the opinions of others, we constantly shame ourselves when we don't get it because we're split off from ourselves, from the negative parts of ourselves. We haven't arrived at healing. So our self-definition is what other people think of us. If they think of us as good, we're good. If they think of us as not good, we are not good because we don't have our own divine connection to ourselves and our shadow. So true healing is to disconnect from the opinions, approval, validation, and praise of others and truly begin to connect within. That is a practice. It's not a decision. It's not one moment in time. It is a way of living where you embark on a journey to reconnect with your sacred self. It's there. And your sacred self is not just the positive parts of you. It is all parts of you. Integrating it in allows you to arrive at great self-acceptance and great self-compassion. Now, when you arrive at great self-acceptance and compassion, that is the sign of healing because you begin to have acceptance and compassion for all human suffering. To me, that is the highest form of wisdom. However, it doesn't mean that you allow people to, sh to crap on you. The Buddha walked away <laughs> from abuse. He didn't just take it, but he did not react to it with an ego because he understood that the other person is in so much pain. He had compassion. Compassion is the missing piece, but you cannot have compassion for anyone else until you have integrated all your own bullshit inside, until you have accepted all your own cut off parts, until you have healed all the damage within you and arrived at self-acceptance and compassion for yourself. Somebody who has self-acceptance of all their shadow and compassion for their shadow, do you know, cannot cause pain in the outside world. It cannot happen. So if you want to be a healer, a source of healing, do not start from the outside. Start on the inside. How you are to yourself will be how you are to others the more loving, compassionate, and aware you are of your own inner crap and integrate it and heal it and take responsibility to parent it, you will not dump it on the outside. Those that dump on the outside are those that are filled with garbage on the inside that they don't know how to take care of. So of course, they open their mouth, garbage comes out. They, they, they write on social media, garbage because garbage lives inside. So if you are a source of healing, it will show up in the world. What comes out of your mouth? How are you in the world? What message do you share? So when you are healed, you are in the state of greatest compassion for yourself and for others. You are not defined by others anymore. You are defined by your own sacred connection to yourself. That is the mark of healing.